Last time on the extreme one drink Iron Man, I got 89 Hunter and caught a lucky impling after spending 3 months in the Puro Puro Hell. We will continue working on the remaining goals now and hopefully roll a chunk soon. Here's a list of the goals left in this chunk. There's a big level, 81 farming. I have been farming for over 3 months now. And we only need one more to go and I finished a chunk goal. I can plant uh, a torso seed. Started working on crafting a bit and in between the crafting I've been ranging some guards. And there's level 64 ranged. We need level 70 in this chunk for black D height. So that's some nice progress. Over halfway. Got my first thieving level from this crafting grind. Level 82. Very nice. This is actually okay thieving XP per hour. So I probably will get uh, quite a bit of levels here. And that's the first crafting level coming in, 78 crafting. Getting around 10k XP per hour right now. And we need level 84, so this will uh, take a good bit of time. Got another thieving level, 83, but I missed it. It's really easy to miss the levels because I'm constantly world hopping for the gems. But yeah, making some good progress. There we go, there's another talisman. I've been hunting these for the charges. I will dismantle this amulet and that will give me 100 fangs. So I have well over 150 teleports. The reason I need the teleports is because I'm teleporting from the farming patch to the market. So I can switch between crafting and farming. Because I still have to do my farm runs every hour for the last farming level. There is level 65 ranged. Very nice. I can now unlock a bunch of shit but that's not gonna happen. And yeah, that's five levels to go. Just been AFKing some sand crabs. I have a lot of editing to do. So maybe I can go all the way to 70. We'll see. There's another level. 66 ranged. 51k to go. These levels don't take too long. I think I'm getting like 25k per hour. So should be getting quite a few levels here. There's level 67 ranged. Three more to go. I think I may as well go for level 70 right now. Uh... Gonna stay here for maybe two or three days and uh, finish it up. Let's do it. Level 68 ranged. There we go. 69 ranged. One to go. And there it is. Switch to Dagonos. There's 70 ranged. I can now equip black Dragonhide armor. Which is part of the requirement. I don't have any of the armor yet. So I can't complete the goal. But I'm one crafting level away from being able to make black di vamps. So we will complete that goal very soon too. That is another chunk requirement completed. Almost. Before we continue with the next goal, this episode is brought to you by Factor. Factor is a meal delivery service that provides fresh, healthy and delicious meals directly to your doorstep. Factor cuts out stressful meal planning and extensive prepping, so meals come together in minutes. Which takes the guesswork out of what you want to eat for breakfast, lunch or dinner. Factor even offers meals for those looking to do keto, low calorie or vegan and vegetarian lifestyles. And Factor helps you avoid fast food and ordering in with no nonsense delicious foods that are ready quickly. With Factor chef prepared meals you always know you're eating well so you never have to opt for something that isn't good for you. Factor meals arrive pre-prepared and are ready to eat in 2 minutes or less. And their meal plans offer variety with a weekly rotating menu with 35 plus meal options and over 60 add-ons like smoothies, keto shakes and desserts. I care about healthy food but don't always want to cook, that's where Factor comes in. So get 50% off your first box and 20% off the next 4 boxes using my link. Click the link in the description or scan the QR code with your phone. And thank you to Factor for sponsoring this episode. Yo, I just finished an inventory with 5 diamonds, that is insane. A diamond is 1 in 128 from the gem stalls and I got 5 in a single inventory. That is... I don't think that's ever gonna happen again. That's insane. Decided to work a little bit on agility. There's level 50, humble beginnings. I will be doing uh, most of this grind after I finish everything else in the chunk. So that will be the final grind to finish the chunk. But yeah, we're hopping this stone all day for 2 XP per hop. Please help. Missed another level, but there's 84 thieving. Very nice. I think I will get level 90 or higher from this, which is going to be really nice for future uh, thieving requirements. Alright, I'm going to make all of my black dehydes into craftable dehydes. These are all from Implings, for Magpie and Ninja Implings. And I am 10k away from 79, which means I can make black dehyde vamp bracers. So let's run all of them to the Forthos Dungeon uh, dehyde tanner. And we should be able to get a lot of crafting XP out of that. 
So here we go. We are in the fourth house dungeon. Here is someone called Eoden, and he will tend the heights for me. So I'm just going to run back and forth and make all of it into the height. And there we go. There's level 79 crafting. I can now make vamp bracers. And I have tanned pretty much all of the dehydes. So let's start making some of the vamp bracers. There we go. So we have almost 1000 dehydes. So that's like 85k XP. And that is a new best slot. And that's also technically the 70 range requirement completed. Because that is a piece of black dehyde armor. I used all the dehyde and did another few days of crafting. And there is level 80 huge level four levels to go this grind is actual hell i really don't like world hopping uh grinds it's definitely not as bad as the uh, hunter grind but man world hopping all day is uh, really rough 82 farming after almost four months of farming in this one hosidious patch that took a while we are done we can plus three boost and plant a torso seed and uh, that is a huge level so we can boost up there we go we just have to farm that now and then the requirement is complete this was the biggest and longest jungle but definitely the most passive one because i just did farm runs every hour um but yeah we just have to plant this and then it's officially completed all right it's the next day it did not die so let's uh harvest this 225 xp each that is a lot of xp and that is officially the jungle completed very nice we are in a chunk picker. Let's tick off the farming requirement. And we can also complete the range one because we have equipped some uh, black diite armor. And we can also complete the vampracers task. There is another thieving level. 86 thieving. I did not miss the level this time. We are definitely getting 90 plus thieving. This is going to be insane. I'm getting like 10k crafting XP per hour and like 30k plus thieving. So it, it does add up. All right, I've been hunting this stupid bronze spear for like half an hour and I finally got it. I got a bronze spear from Hobgoblins and I need this because I will be making a thingy I can plant in a patch, a scarecrow. And if I put this in the flower patch, my sweet corns will never die, which is going to be useful in the future. I want to continue uh, farming on my seeds. There will be more farming requirements coming in the future. And I'm almost through all of my watermelon seeds. And after that, I will be putting this in a patch. I have almost 10k sweet corn seeds still from the hill giants. So yeah, that's going to be a lot of uh, farming and cooking XP. So we prepared a little scarecrow. We have over 60 lucky implings in the bank right now. It's been really fun uh, catching these, doing crafting. Something uh, on the side to work on, a little uh, stacking project. And I think I'm going to keep catching these until I finish crafting and then probably open all the luck hymns. That should be uh, some fun deal content. Just got level 87 thieving and 1575 total. What a grind. There's level 81 crafting. Very exciting. Three levels to go. And each level takes like three days of doing crafting all day. I'm usually getting like 12k, 13k per hour at the end of the day. Definitely uh, an interesting way to train crafting. So I've discovered an improved way to train crafting on this account, which is awesome. Before I was just camping this one stall north and I was just world hopping and thieving from this one stall. But now I'm going back and forth between the two stalls on the market. And that means I have to do two times less world hopping. But I can do this for much longer per day. And I'm actually getting slightly more XP per hour, it seems. I'm averaging like 14k per hour with this method. Uh, maybe because I have more agility levels. Because I tried this when I was like level 70, but it wasn't really working that well. Um, but maybe because I have high agility now, I can keep up with my run energy better. And it's also a lot more fun. I really dislike world hopping. So now with the fewer world hops, it's a lot more bearable. And I get some bonus XP, so that's a great discovery. And to add on to this, I found another improvement to this method by bringing four street rations and an axe. Every time I would get attacked by a guard, I would try to chop the U tree next to the stalls. And I would sometimes get 20% run energy back. Four street rations have a 30% chance to get you 20 run energy when you chop a lock. And a lot of people don't seem to know what this does, but yeah, it's this weird green chocolate bar looking thing in your inventory. You can make it with the forestry minigame. It's really easy to make. And it's actually a great way for early Iron Man to have some source of run energy restoration. And yeah, I use it for the crafting method. There's level 82 crafting. Very nice level because that unlocks black dehyde chaps. Let's go and make some. I've saved some dehydes. 
And there we go. That is a new basin slot and a chunk task. Pack the eight chaps. Completed. Just the body to go. And then we complete both this one and this one at the same time. So we only have agility left after that. Looking good. Looking good. And we've been in this chunk for 147 days so far. I missed a level, but there's 89 thieving. Huge level. Getting very close to that level 90. 25k sapphires. Oh yes. And we get 6k emeralds as well. Not too long ago. How much is how much is that worth it? Let's see. 25k emeralds. I mean sapphires, let's see. Okay, okay. 5.5 mil. Right, not bad, not bad. No, I missed a level, but there's 90 thieving. And it looks like I will be getting 91 too from this grind. I still have a little bit of crafting to go. That is crazy. There we go. 83 crafting. One more to go. How much XP do we need? 278k. Okay. Alright, that's like a few days. Any unlocks? Ooh. Amethyst, ball tips, and black dragon eye shields. Alright, this lucky impling is number 100 that I found during uh, crafting. 100 lucky implings banked. That is going to be really exciting to open. I'll probably continue hunting a little bit until I finish the uh, 84 crafting. We're getting pretty close. And yeah, that's pretty cool. I quickly want to show you how I caught all these lucky implings because people didn't help me catch them. Impling only found me two or three lucky implings. So thank you so much for that. But pretty much besides from that, I found all of these myself. And this is how I do it. This is one of my alt accounts and I am in the northwest corner. The... Lucky and Dragon Impling spawn in this corner and the southeast corner. So I have two accounts. One in this corner and one in the other corner. And I just world hop all day. That's pretty much it. Um, this is what my screen looks like normally. I have two accounts here. Uh, one in each corner. Um, this is by one of my main accounts. And this is my ultimate using uh, Dark Lure. And then I play my chunk account here and whatever other account I'm currently doing some rune crafting on a free to play account um but yeah i just you know world hop all day i usually set my arrow keys to world hopping so i can just click on my client click on the arrow keys and it will hop for me so when i'm doing crafting i am world hopping on my crafting account and it was really easy to also world hop on my uh impling scout accounts and then whenever i found an imp i just went to the world with my chunk account and caught it and then the other option in rune light that you have to activate are the option in implings. So you have to put this on notify. So you get notified when the high level implings spawn. And if you go to rune light options, you have to activate uh, this one. Game message notification and send notification in the focus. So if you have all these turned on, your screen starts flashing when one of those implings spawn. And yeah, that's pretty much how I found the implings. I was world hopping between 6 to 8 hours a day for lucky implings during crafting. So not super difficult, but just takes a lot of time. Finally got another lamp and that will give me 54 agility. And that level regenerates my run energy faster. That's a new threshold, so very nice. Been doing a little bit of agility here and there. But I'm saving the bulk of the XP for... Uh, after crafting, gonna have to get level 70, so that's gonna take a few weeks. But yeah, nice progress right there. 91 thieving. Last level I will get out of the crafting grind, all done with gem stalls. That is insane. <laughs> that is the last floor in pyramid plunder. That is insane. <laughs> wow. And there is a full inventory of sapphires. That is a pretty rare sight. I think that has only happened like four times during this wall grind. So that's pretty uh, cool. And we are close to finishing. That is the last big milestone. 30,000 sapphires in a bank. That looks absolutely ridiculous. That's going to be so much crafting XP in the future when I unlock a furnace. I have the gold bars for them as well. So very excited to use that in the future. But that looks amazing. There it is. 84 crafting. I'm free. Members can now make... Black the body and Onyx bracelets. Woo! 
Whew. All right. I'm done with this shit. We're done with this sh shit. Let's go. Ooh. All right. Let's make that body finish the last... Well, we have agility left, but... There we go. Let's make this final item. Make the dehyde body. There it is. Ooh, look at that, man. That looks clean. That looks clean. Ooh, look at that. 84 crafting. Completed. Black dehyde body. Completed. Look how uh, clean this list now looks. It's just agility. Completed everything else.